Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Access, you can use the Chart Wizard to quickly and easily create charts that can represent data drawn from your underlying tables or queries. There are many different types of charts that are available. Charts are inserted as another control into the reports in your database. You can insert a chart into a report by first clicking the blank report button that appears within the reports button group on the create tab in the ribbon. Then switch to design view. Unlike other report controls, the chart that is inserted into a report will use its own data source for its information display. Therefore, you can simply insert it into a blank, unassociated report if desired. Next, click the Insert Chart button that appears in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab within the ribbon when the report is in Design view. You can then click and drag over the area within the report where you wish to display the chart to create a frame for the embedded chart control. When you release your mouse pointer, the chart wizard will then launch, assuming that you have the Use Control Wizards button selected within the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Remember that in Access 2013 through 2010, this button appears in a separate section when you click the More drop-down button in the lower right corner of the Control button group. In the first screen of the chart wizard, you select the data source for the chart. You can select either the tables, queries, or both by choosing the option button to then display those selected types of objects in the list above. Then select the name of the table or query that you want to use as the data source from the listing of tables and queries shown. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, choose the fields to display in the chart by selecting them from the available fields list and clicking the right pointing arrow button to move the selected fields into the fields for chart list. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, click on the type of chart that you want to create from the listing of chart types shown. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, drag and drop any fields from the area at the right side of the window into the desired chart locations that are shown at the left side of the window. Note that you can double click on any summary field shown in order to change the function performed on the data in a separate dialog box if needed. You can also click the Preview Chart button to show a preview of your chart in a separate window. Once you're satisfied with the appearance of your chart, click the Next button to continue. In the last screen of the Chart Wizard, you can type a title for your chart into the box provided and then select whether or not to add a legend to the chart. Then click the Finish button to add the chart control to your report. Don't be alarmed if the chart does not display your data in the Design view as it's not intended to. You will need to switch to Layout view in order to see the data within the chart object and also have the ability to resize the chart control until it appears the way that you want it to within your report. Now charts are independent objects that contain many smaller objects that have their own properties 
which can be independently formatted to suit your tastes. When you are in Design View, you may select the Chart Control and then view its properties in the property sheet. The Row Source property, which is located on the Data tab, displays the SQL code of the query upon which the chart is based. If you click into the Row Source property, you can then click the Builder button, which is the button that looks like the ellipsis mark at the right end of the box, to view the SQL query in the Visual Query Design view, which you can then edit if needed. To edit the chart and design view, double-click the chart control. This will activate the Microsoft Graph program. Note that the toolbars change to reflect that fact. The new toolbar which appears allows you to edit the chart's formatting. You can select any object in the chart and then click the available buttons in the new toolbar to format it to your taste. Note that the data that is displayed in the data sheet when you edit the chart simply displays the most recent data. You do not need to change the data sheet info. Now once you've made any formatting changes you wish to keep, just click once back into the report into which the chart is embedded to switch back to access. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.